that, that things are going. I know sometimes, you know, it's, it's difficult when you get into the second year of a term and, you know, things are going to be wrapping up here in the spring that you want to make sure that your work gets done, and I can appreciate that. Um, I do want to address a couple of, of points that were brought up. Number one is the issue with what has been referred to as the Bergstrom property, the Green Bay expansion, uh, or the Bass Pro Shop property. That project was permitted, so please let's not repeat fallacies. That was permitted. The reason why we had special legislation earlier this session is because they didn't want to go through with the contested case hearings. So those are two totally different issues. That was a permitted project. Now, the fact of the matter, and Representative Rivard said it very well, that he was a developer, and if somebody came in and wanted to develop an area, he knew whether or not it would be permitted. That's the reason why you have a permitting system, is so that people know where the hurdle is. We protect our, our wetlands in Wisconsin for a reason, because they're valuable not only from a natural standpoint, but they're also valuable for an economic standpoint in, in our state, and I think we all realize that. You know, when you have a permitting system, you don't want people just uh, apply, you don't want people to apply for a permit that they know that they're not going to be able to follow through on. It takes seven years to get a, a bare fuel tag in Wisconsin. You have to apply for a point every year, and that's on average. You would be foolish to tell somebody, hey, you know, you should apply, you should get your one point and then throw that in the bucket and pay the $20 fee to get, get your name put in the bucket and see if you're going to get drawn, because you're not. So there's, you know, there's a reason to have permitting, and there's a reason why people shouldn't even apply for certain permits, because it's not the right thing to do. It's not the right thing to fill in certain wetlands. And I think the reason you, you have these hurdles is to, so that people know whether or not, you know, this is a project that potentially is possible, but, you know, there's some that are never going to be potentially possible. And the Green Bay project was possible. They just didn't want to have that extra hurdle of having <coughs> the public's right to contest the issuance of that permit. Thank you.